Hi folks, this is Steve Vai here, and I'm here at the Mothership Studios in Hollywood. And uh, I have a record out called Real Illusions, and there is a track off that record called Freak Show Excess that I'm going to tell you a little bit about. Um, Freak Show Excess, because um, it's kind of over the top. Uh, but this song basically is a reflection of my enjoyment of Bulgarian wedding music. That's right. Because if you listen to Bulgarian wedding music, you'll find that these guys are completely out of their mind, the guys that play. And uh, the one band that I'm referring to is a, a band called Ivo Papasov and his Bulgarian wedding band. And uh, their, their, their whole frame of mind when it comes to things like creating melodies and playing on their instruments and using time signatures and phrasing is completely alien. I mean, they're very comfortable in, in very odd time signatures, although they don't feel it as such. And they're very comfortable playing in different modes that uh, basically have no reflection to Western music at all. Uh, and their phrasing and the way that they hit their notes is very different. So in order to find inspiration to apply to the guitar, I studied some of this music and came up with some cool techniques. And I'm going to play a little bit of the song. It's like a seven-minute fiasco. And uh, just show you... Uh, some of the things that I came up with for the track that I thought were uh, interesting and a little unique to uh, the style of music that I do. Okay, so I've got my Pro Tools session open here with uh, about four million tracks on this song. Okay, so I created this little loop over the intro. And that goes on forever. And what I'll do is kind of sit for a while and just fool around with uh, with that intro. Go on for a while like that, you can discover some things. Okay, this next section here. Uh, I have this clean guitar coming in, and this is a very characteristic of uh, Bulgarian music. It's in 1716, and the way that I broke this up is, uh, and this is a good way to practice odd meters. When, when you're playing an odd meter, you don't necessarily, or at least the way I approach it, is you don't necessarily want it to sound so much like an odd meter, uh, but I like it when it flows. So um, the way to do that is to make the rhythm feel second nature to you and completely natural. Soloing over an odd time signature takes a whole different feel also. I mean, you can solo in 4-4, four, four, uh, or what's natural, but uh, what I would normally do is set up a vamp over something like this and just work on it, uh, practice to solo, 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 and, and try to come up with things that sound natural without necessarily thinking that I'm in 7, and uh, come up with things where the, the phraseology of them sounds very natural and not regimented into a particular time signature. Here's some ideas. Okay, so I'll sit for a while until I come up with some interesting things or an idea, and then I'll work on it. And the solo in this song, if you listen to it, it doesn't sound anything like what I was just doing because I really made a conscious effort to try to uh, incorporate that Bulgarian melodic idea into the way I phrase the guitar solo. So if you listen to the actual solo that's on the record, you'll hear a lot of those little 
idiosyncrasies, you know, those grace notes, which is very cu uh, customary in, in the Bulgarian melody music where they'll go like... Stuff like that, but you got to work on that and start out slow. And then they'll do a lot of things with... Uh, you know, these melodies with all these um, these quick glissandos. When you start combining these things, you get... You know, some cool kind of things, you know? So this song, if you listen to the other uh, out-of-control weird sections, you'll hear the same kind of thing going on. And the point I'm making here is it's okay to to immediately go to the thing you're always comfortable with. But if you look outside of the box and try to find some things that inspire you to, to do uh, maybe a little different things on the instrument or not so normal or whatever, you can incorporate them into your playing and eventually it'll feel very normal, but it'll be unique to what you do. So you've got to kind of listen for those things and have the time and the patience to, to work them out. Your lesson for the day. Good luck.